I know that I haven't uploaded any videos since January and you're probably wondering where I've been so in this video I'm going to give you some updates on my life. Let me know in the comments what you have been doing. If you are new to the channel, my name is Mason Ellis and I am a C5 through C7 quadriplegic. I make videos to help you live life just like you would have able-bodied. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. The main reason that I haven't made any videos is because I was focused on my spring 2021 classes. I wanted to take a break on making videos so that I could focus on my schoolwork and I believe it was a good choice. This is because I finished my two spring 2021 semester classes, special topics slash current topics with a 102% and data warehousing and bus intelligence with a 101%. I was able to finish with such a high percentage in both classes because I didn't have to take any quizzes or tests which is fine by me. So this means that I got at least a 100% on all of my assignments and even got some bonus points for doing assignments that were optional. My college changed my course curriculum by reducing three classes that were five credit hours to three credit hours. So I have to take additional three classes to make up those six credit hours. This really frustrates me because I don't think they should be able to change your course curriculum whenever you have already started it and are in the middle of it. But I've come this far and I'm going to keep going. I'm at 90% in my degree progress and am almost finished. Due to this change in my course curriculum, I will graduate in the spring of 2023 instead of the fall of 2022 with my bachelor's degree in information technology. So I have to take one additional semester than what I planned on taking. Ever since the middle of March 2020 when COVID-19 started, I have been working from home. This took a little bit of adjusting to get used to, but I have figured it out now. And I do like it because I don't have to drive to and from work, so I save on gas, but I miss the in-person interactions with other people. I have went to work a few times to get my computer fixed, but other than that, I have been working from home. Since the price of gas is going up, I thought that I would share something for you to save money on every gallon of gas that you get. I use an app on my phone called Gas Buddy, and you get a Gas Buddy card that you use to pay for gas at the pump. And Gas Buddy has a free service that you save five cents on every gallon. And uh, Gas Buddy also has a membership called Gas Buddy Plus, which is what I have and you save 20 cents on every gallon. I have saved over $150 in the past few years by using Gas Buddy, and it has worked at every gas station that I have tried using my Gas Buddy card at. Um, if you are interested in the free or membership service, there is a link in the description, and use code WC42Y8M to get $5 in free gas on your first fill up. In January, I started the process of getting a new wheelchair. Apparently insurance will pay for a wheelchair every five years. I've had my Permobil C300 wheelchair for over six years. Uh, the wheelchair that I am trying to get is the Permobil F5 Corpus VS Power Wheelchair, which has a standing feature. Uh, my wheelchair that I have now is my favorite wheelchair that I have used. So I figured that I would get a newer version of the same wheelchair. It is rare for insurance to approve paying for a wheelchair's standing feature. So I'm working with vocational rehab to assist in paying for it if insurance denies paying for the standing feature. Insurance will more than likely approve to pay for the standard wheelchair tilt, recline, and elevate functions, but will not approve to pay for the standing feature. I was notified the other day that one of my videos on YouTube was used for a presentation in an occupational related class, and I have gotten several comments from college students who are studying physical therapy and occupational therapy saying that my videos were used by their professors or the students are watching my videos to get a better understanding on spinal cord injuries. However, this was the first one that has been used in a class that someone I knew was in. I got the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine 
uh, on the same day that they withdrew its availability due to a few people getting blood clots out of the millions that had received it. Uh, the only reason that I got a COVID-19 vaccine is because of my situation being paralyzed and my lungs and immune system not working like normal. And uh, my lungs are extremely weak because of my spinal cord injury and I feel that if I got COVID, I would be done for. If water goes down the wrong way when I drink, uh, it takes me five minutes just to cough it up um, and get it sorted out. Even though I don't believe COVID-19 is as popular and serious as they say, I believe it's real. Um, from what I can tell, the coronavirus is similar to pneumonia targeting the respiratory system. And if I didn't have a poor immune system and respiratory system, I wouldn't have gotten the vaccine. I shot my dad's AR-15 this past weekend, which was a lot of fun. And I didn't think I had shot it since my injury, but he said that I had. In late 2019, I started getting interested in the stock market. And when the pandemic started in the beginning of 2020, most stock prices drastically dropped and I started buying stocks and was able to sell them for a profit. I think it's really fun and I use TD Ameritrade and here's a list of stocks that I've sold and made money on. I have tickets to go to a concert coming up so I'm looking forward to that. A guy from Walken VR Driver sent me an Oculus Quest 2 which is a virtual reality headset for me to make videos about using the Walken VR software, which allows the user to use the virtual reality headset to play games and stuff um, without the need of having the controllers in your hand and pressing the buttons. I'm still trying to get all of that set up, but once I do, I plan to make videos showing it off. And before this, I have never used a virtual reality headset so I am really looking forward to using this. So this has been an update on my life, which was long overdue. Uh, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you've been doing. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you watch another one of my videos.